Hello there, welcome to Yoga with Anya and welcome to Yoga During Pregnancy with me here on YouTube. Today's practice is based around our pregnancy sun salutations, so a class that hopefully will make you feel energized and embodied again. I would just want to mention up front that I feel and it is really said that during pregnancy we should take it a little bit slower, we shouldn't overheat our bodies because if you think how much is actually happening and going on within your body it is nice to take a step back to slow it down slightly and still to feel like you're working your body and that's what we're going to do today. Remember to listen to how you are feeling as we move through the practice if there, any, if there is any postures that don't feel right for yourself and bump, then just please take a moment to rest or have a zip of water or so. And do make sure, you might have seen I move my plant if you're practicing other videos, that you have space around you today. If you don't, then don't worry, you can still practice it with the space of a yoga mat. But otherwise, yeah, try to feel nice and kind of free within your practice today. I look forward to see you on the mat in just a moment. So welcome. We start our practice seated and I would like you to bring something underneath your hips if that is a yoga pillow, a bolster or maybe even a couch cushion something you can rest your hips onto and you're feeling your pelvis is tilting forward so your bump no matter how big it is has space to expand and we're going to rest the palms facing up onto the legs today to really kind of have that gesture already of receiving energy um, into the body as we begin our practice so hands back of the palms on the knees with your palms facing up and then take a moment to really elongate your back here. So feel as if there is a string attached to the crown of your head pulling you up. And you're dropping the shoulders down, you're lifting the heart. So you're in a nice, open and tall seated posture. And then let's slowly start to close down the eyes. And if for any reason you feel eyes closed might make you feel dizzy or just trigger something else, then open your eyes and look down towards the floor in front of you. So either way, allow your focus to narrow. Take your gaze away from your day, the day thus far, and everything coming after your practice. So allow yourself to let go. Allow these layers of to-dos, maybe some of tension or whatever you're carrying with you currently, allow them to slowly wash away. It's like clearing your body for your upcoming practice today. And to do so, what we're going to do with three cleansing breaths is releasing the shoulders. And I feel this area really, if you feel a little bit lighter, makes such a difference to the body. So we're doing it together three rounds. As you inhale, I would like you to lift the shoulders to the ears and really try to squeeze them up. So your side body is lifting, you're inhaling, 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 and then open your mouth and nice and slowly breathe out as your shoulders are descending. And twice more like this, inhale, lift the shoulders, shrug them all the way up to the ears, lift, lift, lift and lengthen and then open your mouth, nice long exhale to release, shoulders are super heavy. Once more, inhale, squeeze and lift and nice slow exhale. Really sigh it out as you drop the shoulders and allow them to rest away from the ears. Very nice. And then slowly start to bring your awareness inward. So imagine you're moving the gaze from wherever you were focusing on before with your eyes open to that inner world. And just take a moment to acknowledge how you're feeling today. 
a moment to bring the awareness towards yourself, especially if you maybe have other children or if you're still working or just anything, if you're caring of others, now it's the time to look after yourself and bump. Start to notice your breath. Notice this subtle sensation of the body rising as you inhale, falling as you exhale. Let your sits bones be heavy. Let your feet and your legs be nice and relaxed. And whenever you can, remember to sit nice and tall with the heart lifted. And then I would like you to bring both palms onto your bumps. You're cradling, you're holding your baby. And just allow these fingers to be ever so soft. Your shoulders stay down away from the ears. And you're now noticing how your bump feels today. You might notice some movement depending on how far along you are. Maybe your baby or babies are moving around or having a wiggle. And what you will definitely feel is your breath. With the inhale, your bump is rising. With every out breath, really soften and relax the whole area underneath your hands. Lift the corners of your mouth. Send a gentle smile down to baby. A smile down into your whole body. Being proud of what you're growing. Being proud of showing up on your mat today. And then lift your left hand to your heart. Keep your right hand on your belly. And we start with our yogic breath today, our pregnancy yogic breath, which is there to really calm down the body, to soothe the nervous system. And it's also part of the hypnobirthing if you're doing any courses. So we're inhaling for four and we're working up to our breath for eight. Let's start together again. Inhale through the nose, deep breath in. Open your mouth and exhale, one sigh out. Then inhale for four, three, two, one. Open your mouth, exhale for four, three, two, one. Inhale for four, three, two, one. Exhale for five, four, three, two, one, release. Inhale for four, three, two, one. Body is rising. Exhale, soften for six, five, four, three, two, one, release. Inhale, sit tall for four, three, two, one. Exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release, last round, inhale for four, three, two, one, exhale for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then allow your body to move back into natural rhythm, inhaling, exhaling for one, through the nose, palms are sinking back down onto the legs with your hands facing up, just imagine that anything you're needing from your practice today, you will receive. Beautiful work. And then from here, slowly start to open your eyes. So we'll bring a bit of extra energy back into the body. And as you breathe in now, reach your arms around the body, all the way up to the ceiling. Look to your thumbs, stretch into your fingertips, and then breath out to draw the hands back through the heart past the belly and release it down. Inhale for four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Release a slow round now. Inhale for four, three, 
two, one. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release, very nice. Inhale, bring your arms all the way up and overhead. Take your left hand, grab the right wrist. Really let that arm be loose and heavy. Lift it up and then stretch the body all the way to the left hand side. And side body stretches are super energizing for the body because you're opening all these areas, kind of the muscles between the ribs. It's also obviously part of where the lungs are situated. So as you breathe here, imagine you're really breathing into the side body. Gently move the head side to side, making sure you have a complete relaxed neck. Very, very good. And then as you inhale, lift back to center, take the other wrist, again, let it be loose, lift up and then over to the right hand side. Stay heavy through the hips, completely relaxing your lower body and just feel how you're lifting up and over. And you might even send your gaze to the corner of your room so you're lifting chin away from the chest. Start to move the head side to side. Breathe into that left side body. Really enjoy these stretches, these sensations. Very, very nice, beautiful work. And then slowly come back to center. Release your arms all the way around and down. And then we're gonna lift again into a side stretch, but this time with the left hand on the mat or fingertips. Right arm comes up and overhead. And then really stretch the body to that side again. Notice the shoulders staying down. And now we're gonna pulsate a few times. So you're inhaling back to center, exhaling into your stretch. Inhaling to lift. Exhaling, maybe you send the gaze to another direction of the room. Once more, inhale to lengthen. Very nice, exhale to stay. Keep the palm facing down, shoulders away from the ears. And then start to bend your elbow back. So make a half cactus shape with your arm and really energetically draw that elbow back and then start to turn your body to face more the right side. So it's like a twist for the upper back. Squeeze your shoulder blades in at the back. Palms are open. Imagine breathing into the right side of your chest, inhaling. Beautiful work. And then start to extend that arm back and away from the body. And we're gonna do a few circles here. So really start to reach your arm all the way around the body. And just notice if you wanna come higher up, you can also have your hand on the hip, stretching and lengthening into the fingertips and really enjoying that rotational movement to the shoulder joint. So this is the main focus of this round. One last round, maybe your arm gets a little bit tired now, we're almost there. Beautiful work, and then slowly lift the body back to center and start to roll your shoulders forward up and down the back before we move to the other side. Great, and now we're gonna repeat exactly the same what we've done before. So either on the fingertips or on your palm, if you're using blocks, that may as well be there. Inhale, reach the left arm up, all the way overhead, let the head be heavy and relaxed, and then start to move again with your breath. Inhale, up to center, exhale, stretching to the side. Breathing in, very nice, breathing out, side stretch. One more round, inhale to lift, exhale to stay. Try to look over or up towards that left side. And then bend your arm again, draw your elbow back to really open your heart towards the ceiling. Imagine the breath is now filling the chest. And then for a few circles, reach your arm behind you and then all the way around the body. And really take up space here. And if it feels okay, if you're not getting dizzy, follow your hand with your gaze. So the neck gets involved a little bit. One last round here. 
beautiful work and then come all the way back to center bring the fingertips onto the shoulders and similar to before we're going to do a few shoulder circles but now you might feel you can move a little bit more as you're having your hands up you can do a bit of a almost a side body movement here as well and feel free at any point to exhale through the mouth if that feels good and cleansing lift up very very nice and then open your shoulders away from the ears. Your fingertips stay here. And what we're gonna do is a few pulses to come into a first twist. So you're inhaling, you open your arms as you exhale to the left for three, two, one. Move your body to that side. Inhale back, exhale, pulse three, two, one. Back to center, inhale, exhale, three, two, one, inhale. Exhale, three, two, one. One last round, breathe in, breathe out. Three, two, one, inhale back. Exhale, three, two, one, and then release. Great, so we're gonna move any props away that you had. So moving bolsters or pillows, and then find your way into tabletop. Come onto your hands, your knees, place your knees slightly more than hip width apart palms underneath your shoulders and really spread your fingers wide so open your hand and instead of letting the weight rest in your wrists you're clawing the mat with your fingertips press the big toes down and then just start to move the body side to side here and keeping that connection especially with your fingertips so you're pressing them down you feel your spine lengthening and the head just gently rocking side to side. And then for cat and cow, come back to center and let's start by breathing through it. On the in-breath, let the belly soften, lift your chest. And you don't have to go too far here, so you don't want to feel any strain on the bump. That might be, again, a quite light back bend that you're doing currently. You're inhaling, and as you breathe out, start to lift your upper back towards the ceiling, Really try to press the mat away with your fingers. Look towards bump. Shoulders stay away from the ears. Very nice. And then four more slow rounds. Inhale, lift your chest and gaze. Breathe in. Exhale to round cat pose. Three more to go. Inhale, feel the wave. That wave-like motion. Every vertebra moving individually. Exhale, the same here as you're rounding. Twice more with your breath. And once more, inhale, arch the back, shoulders roll away from the ears. Exhale to round, 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 press the mat away. Beautiful work. And then come all the way back to center. Bring your hands one hand width further forward. Now, if downward facing dog doesn't work for your body currently, you can stay in tabletop. Otherwise, if down dog is okay, bring your feet mat width apart, curl your toes under, and then lift your hips all the way back and up. And as you come up into down dog, bend your knees a little bit, lift the hips high, then bend your left knee to the chest or rather towards the elbow currently, your right knee. Stretch through the left heel as you do the other leg. And then extend both legs for a moment. All 10 fingertips are pressing down, hips are lifting. And then start to walk your hands all the way to the feet, coming towards the back of your mat. And that's where our sun salutations start, pregnancy sun salutations. So as you come back, bend your knees, rest your forearms on the thighs and bring your hands into prayer. So you're squatting down, you're lifting the heart forward. And then as we are coming up to standing, round the upper back and ever so slowly, you can always use your hands on the legs, start to lift up to standing, feet are wide, head is coming up last. And again, if you're feeling okay, no dizziness at the moment, inhale, reach your arms around the body, all the way up to the ceiling. And as you breathe out, draw your hands down to the heart. Very, very nice. So let's start. Feet are more than hip width apart. 
knees are softly bent. Open your palms forward and just really stand nice and tall. Enjoy your body as it is right now. Your bump opening forward, expanding, shining into the world. Very, very nice. And let's start together. As you inhale, reach your arms forward and up. Palms come into prayer. As you exhale, keep your hands together. Rest your forearms down as you're squatting towards the thighs. For a version of cat and cow, inhale, arch the back. Exhale, round. Inhale, maybe sink a little bit lower. Lift the chest forward. Arch the back to round. Or rather, now round. Inhale, one more. Exhale. And then start to place your hands down carefully. Make your way into downward facing dog. Or you bring the knees down coming to tabletop. Take a deep breath in. Lift the heels. And as you exhale, slowly descend your knees down towards the earth. For low lunge, step the right foot to the outside of the right hand. Untuck your back toes. And as you inhale, lift into your low lunge. As we keep it energetic today, we're inhaling to reach the arms forward and up. As you exhale, sink into your hips. Press the back shin down so you're staying supported through the muscles. Take another in-breath to lengthen. And then out breath, bring your hands to the inside of the foot again. Swing that right knee back and then left foot forward. Back toes are untucked. Lift up, find your balance first. And then inhale to reach. Exhale to sink into low lunge. Back shin is pressing down. Lift the heart once more. And then as you breathe out, release your hands to the mat. For downward facing dog, swing the left leg back, hands shoulder width all the way up into downward facing dog. And then slowly walk your hands to the feet. Like you did before, bend your knees, rest your forearms down in prayer. To lift up to standing, start to curl up through the spine ever so slowly, vertebra by vertebra, you're coming up. Then as you're standing, if you're okay with it, inhale, reach your arms around and up. Exhale, hands all the way through and past the heart center. Very nice, you can bring the feet a bit closer again. Breathe in to lengthen. Breathe out to sink down. Inhale, arch the spine. Exhale to round. Inhale, lift the chest. Hips are slightly lifting back. Exhale, lift the shoulder blades. Last one. And then for downward facing dog, really stay grounded through the feet. Walk your hands all the way forward. As you inhale, lift the heels. Maybe exhale through the mouth. Place the knees down, very good. Step the left foot forward, untuck your back toes. Inhale to reach. Exhale to sink into low lunge. Once more, inhale. Exhale, lunging. Soften the shoulders. And then release your hands to the inside of the foot. Swing the left leg back. Take the right foot forward. Untuck your back toes. And as you lift up, open the chest. As you lower, press the feet down. Once more, inhale. And exhale, soften from the neck all the way down into the shoulder blades. And then for downward facing dog, release the hands down. Swing that right leg back. Curl your toes under, inhale. And exhale. To left. Slowly walk your hands to your feet. Keep your neck relaxed, head relaxed, forearms onto the thighs, squatting down. And then as you cool to your breath again, or caught up with your breath, slowly roll up to standing. Lift the head up last, head over the heart, and then inhale, arms come around and up, full stretch. Exhale, 
to release mountain pulse. Beautiful work. We're going to do one last round. As you inhale, stretch and lengthen. As you exhale, sink low. Three rounds. Inhale to arch the back. Exhale to round. Inhaling and exhaling. One more round. You can always sink lower or lift higher. See how it feels. And then keep the feet really earthed, grounded. Walk your hands forward. Downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, lower the knees down. Step the right foot to the right hand. Untuck your back toes. Once you feel steady, lift up. Draw your arms up. Long side body. Exhale to sink and soften. Once more, inhale. Exhale, nice long breath out. And then release your hands to the earth. Swing the right leg back and then step the left foot forward. Untuck your back toes, front knee over the ankle. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lunge. Once more, inhale. Exhale. And then release your hands to the inside of the foot. Swing that leg back. Downward facing dog, inhaling, exhaling. And then once more, walk your hands all the way to the feet. Squatting down, bringing forearms onto the thighs, prayer hands. And then to roll up to standing, take a nice long in breath to rise up. Out breath to stand tall. And then inhale, arms reach around and up. And exhale to release. Beautiful work. Very, very nice. Now from here, I would like you to keep your feet more hip width apart, so slightly closer together. I'm going to show you from this angle. As you inhale, again, draw your arms around the body and up. Left hand grabs the right wrist. Let this arm be loose. And then lift up and overhead. As you inhale, come back to center. Switch the hand, lift up, and then all the way over into your side stretch. Very, very nice. Inhale, back to center. Now as you exhale, release your hands all the way down. Interlock your palms at your lower back. Feet are hip width or wider, so your bump has space. Option one is to stay here, to squeeze the shoulder blades in and to stay in this chest expansion. Option two, you draw your knuckles down and away from the body. If you're feeling like adding to this, we're going to fold. So you would inhale to lengthen, bend your knees and then exhale for a forward fold. But really make sure this feels right in the body. A little bend through the knees, but then you're lifting out through the hips, so you're really stretching the hamstrings. Very nice, and to come up again with a long back, bend your knees, hands onto the lower back, lift all the way up to standing. Inhale, stand tall, and exhale, arms come down. And then just let your arms swing. Give them a bit of a release here. And any of these movements are really good to bring just energy and flow back into the body. Inhaling nose, exhaling mouth or nose. Very, very good. Beautiful work. Now we're going to come into a warrior two flow from here. So we start with the right foot at the top of the mat and left foot back. And remember warrior two is where you're opening the hips. So your front heel is roughly in line with the middle of the back foot. You're sinking down, hips are opening, and then you're bringing your arms into a nice long position here. As you look over the front hand, also notice if the right knee is opening. So you're really actively drawing that 
to the right side of your mat. For five rounds, flip your palms up as you inhale, reach. And as you exhale, find warrior two again. Maybe with your eyes closed, you start to drop into that flow. Keep your jaw relaxed and just really enjoy this as a full body movement. Couple more rounds, inhale. Exhale. One last, inhale to lift. And exhale, warrior two. For extended side angle, lean forward with your whole body. Reach this right arm as far as you can go and then place it onto the front leg. For a few circles, like we did seated, reach your arm forward, around, and then all the way back and down. Breathe in as you lift. Breathe out as you bring the hand back and down. One more round, inhale. And exhale. Very nice, and then pause once this arm comes back up and overhead. Really press into the left foot. Feel how you're nice and long in the body here. Head is relaxed. And then to, re to reverse this, we're gonna lift up. Extend your front leg for a moment. Left hand comes down, right arm up and overhead. And then for peaceful warrior, start to re-bend that front leg. You can always have your hand on the hip as a bit of extra support. And then come to breathe here. Feel strong through the legs, light in the upper body. One more inhale. And then exhale to release. Beautiful work. Have both legs long, bring your feet parallel. And then we're gonna move to the other side. So you might just flip to the other side with your left foot forward, or you can take a quick um, swap. Left foot at the front of your mat. Bend into your front knee, front knee over the ankle, and lengthen your arms. Really feel how you're having this space between shoulders and ears. Your side body is long, your bump is soft, and your front knee is tracing open. For five rounds, inhale to lift, and exhale, warrior two. Maybe closing the eyes, to just really tune into how it feels. Send every breath down into your belly, down towards bump. And really know the deeper you're breathing, the more oxygen can flow into your whole body and obviously also towards bump. Nourishing little baby. One more round, inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Beautiful work. And then again, lean your body forward. Try to not close. So keeping the body as it is, but reaching the left arm forward, left forearm onto the leg. And then for a few circles, swing that right arm forward and all the way around the body. And use your left arm on the leg to feel stable so you're not engaging the core. One last round. Then extend that arm up and overhead. Press into the right outer edge of the foot. Beautiful work. And then let's reverse it. Extend your front leg. Let your right hand come down. Left arm up and overhead. Inhale to lengthen. And for peaceful warrior, exhale. Rebend that leg. You can again have your hand on the side of your hip. Beautiful work, very, very nice. And then release the body, extend your legs, feet come parallel to one another. As you inhale, reach your arms all the way around. As you exhale, draw your hands down through the heart, nice and slowly. Two more like this, inhale for four, three, two, one. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, release, last round, inhale, nice long exhale, Be 
beautiful work and then release from here heel toe your feet in together and then take your pillow or your bolster back and we're going to come down onto the mat and starting with a yogi squat malasana you can do that unsupported without the pillow if you feel that you know it serves you just without it if you would like to have it there then bring your heels towards it your feet facing out as you inhale once more let's reach the arms around and up and as you exhale sink down and again you don't have to sit onto a block or a pillow you can just let your hips rest then bring your forearms to the inside of your legs and your thumbs towards your sternum and find that balance of gently squeezing your knees in and at the same time with your arms trying to open the legs lengthen your back so feel how from your tailbone all the way into the crown of your head you're sitting here nice and tall and then close your eyes and just allow your head to gently bow down notice your heart rhythm notice maybe a bit of warmth through the body energy flowing through the body Relax your jaw, soften through the hips. And then lift your head back to center. And for a gentle twist, reach your left hand down and right hand behind you. And then come all the way back, right hand down, left arm up and overhead. Let's do that once more with a breath. So inhaling, arm down, exhaling to open inhaling other arm exhaling to open very very nice beautiful work and then slowly release take any bolsters or props you had underneath away and come into a cross-legged seated posture bring your hips a little bit further away from the heels and your hands down onto your legs and then let's start to move the body in a circular direction and I would suggest that now you're closing your eyes again and you're just feeling that movement slowing the whole practice down it's feeling very nourishing for baby because it gets that gentle rocking that gentle movement that makes you feel calm that makes baby feel calm And then change the direction of your movement. Keep your head soft. Gently lift the corners of your mouth. Give yourself, your little one, a smile. Very, very nice. And then slowly pause as you come back to center. And then start to circle your head in one way, one direction. You can do that super slowly. Again, remember you move as it feels good. And then change the direction of your circle. Breathe through it, enjoy that release. Very, very nice. And then as you come back to center, just let the head rest for a moment. Keep your eyes soft or closed. And then as you inhale, reach the chest forward. Think of cat and cow again. Really open the heart, breathe into that space. And then to reverse as you exhale, this is where we're gonna stay a little bit longer round your back. Hold onto the legs and just lean back, tuck your chin down. Imagine breathing all the way down the spine, the back body. 
and and lift the body back up and from here for our last posture today we can extend the left leg right foot towards the inner thigh and then let the hand meet the leg or the foot wherever you can comfortably reach take the right arm up and imagine reaching that foot with your hand so coming once more into a side stretch and then bring the hand behind you lift the other arm up and try to press both feet down if you're still feeling energized lift onto the knee come into a version of gate pose just gently squeeze your buttock and then soften the body back down keep the left hand again towards the leg and we're going to twist by bringing the right hand behind and then start to gently move and turn the body to face the right side and open twists are very healthy in pregnancies i wouldn't suggest closed twists again you want to have space for bump once more inhale and exhale and then slowly release and let's move to the other side extend the right leg left foot towards the inner thigh you can always have that knee bent as well remember right hand comes onto the leg lift the left arm out and up support yourself by having that hand on the leg so you're keeping lifted through both sides of the body and then bring your hand behind you repeat the same version you've done on the first side inhale to lift and exhale to gently release last twist right hand to the leg left fingertips behind you inhale to lengthen exhale to turn the body once more inhale exhale beautiful work very very nice and then slowly come back to center and for your pregnancy shavasana have at least two pillows now one for the head so you're lying down with your head on the pillow and one block or pillow between your knees I'm just going to show you and then i'm coming back up to talk you through it so you're lying down make sure your arms are comfortable that your head is in line with your hips so you're not arching too much or rounding and you might rest your hand on bump on baby or on the hip or in front of you and really take time to get comfortable move as much as you need to to get any wiggles out of the body and then once you found your comfortable position allow your eyes to soften and close down again and as you close them really consciously let go of your practice let go of any movement any breath awareness and allow your body to soften now Feel the left side body from head all the way down to your toes, getting heavier and heavier on your mat. You're really sinking towards the earth. You're sinking towards the pillows. And you know that right now, it is your time to completely rest. Relax your forehead, these thinking muscles. Relax your jaw, let your teeth move apart. Relax through the tops of your shoulders all the way into your fingertips. Relax your back from the upper back all the way through middle back into the lower spine. Hips are heavy, knees are soft, 
And that relaxation is now moving all the way down into each and every toe, the soles of your feet. And notice for yourself if there is any area of the body where you are having a bit of a tendency to maybe tense or hold, if you can relax a little bit more. Tuning into that mantra, saying to yourself, my body is heavy and relaxed. My body is heavy and relaxed in Shavasana. And for these next few moments, keep that space open, that space for you to simply be, to know that there is nothing to do, nowhere to go. Enjoy your Shavasana. I'm heavy and relaxed in Shavasana. And if I relax, my baby does so too. And then very slowly from here, start to deepen your breath again. And once more, lift the corners of your mouth. Already here, thanking yourself to move through this practice, sending the smile down to baby. And then slowly start to wiggle your toes again, move your ankles. Move your fingers, your wrists. And as you're lying down, see if you can just stretch the right leg down and extend the right arm up and overhead for a nice side body, a full body stretch. And if you can, if you feel comfortable with your eyes closed and slowly start to lift up, come into your cross-legged or maybe on your bolster into a comfortable seated posture. And now, at the end of our practice, palms are facing down as a gesture of sealing off, gesture of staying inward. Lift through the back again, once more, open the heart. And maybe connecting the hands to the heart in gratitude, if that feels nice for you to bow head down and saying Namaste. Very, very nice, beautiful work. Remember you're strong. Remember you also can and have to take time to relax. So hopefully this practice gave you a nice balance of the two and I look really forward to see you again. From my heart and bump to yours. Have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.